Here are our five favorite workshop items for week 84 in no particular order. Before we get started, I just want to clear up some questions that were brought up concerning our Invoker set that is now available in the Dota 2 store. Everything that we previously advertised was included, which we are very happy about. Of course, what that means is that all 16 items that were in the workshop are now in the game. Keep in mind that the four styles for the headpiece, shoulder piece, and cape can be changed by right-clicking the item and changing the style. This also means that you can mix and match to your heart's content. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because the process isn't very intuitive as many people have been confused. Okay, so with that, let's get started, shall we? First up is the Hunter with No Name set for Bounty Hunter created by Vlad the Empire, Hib Newell, Stefko, and Big Tuna. It comes with 9 items including a headpiece, armor, shoryuken, primary weapon, offhand weapon, back piece, loading screen, a custom track, and a loadout animation. Wow, this is a really complete set for BH that shines despite there being so many other bounty sets in the game. It's really great to see unique things such as custom track which has never been done and custom loadout animation, which to my knowledge is the portrait animation that is shown when picking the hero. As of this recording, the GIF was not included in the entry, but if this is what we think it is, it just begs the question, why hasn't anyone else done this? Second is the Demonic Vessel of Avernus set for Abaddon, created by Dota FX and Wei Z. It comes with six items, including a hood, shoulder piece, cloak, blade, mount, and loading screen. Here's yet another great set from Dota FX that gives Abaddon an even darker feeling, which I didn't even think was possible. The hood and cloak combination works really well together, and the mount is impressive to say the least. Third, we have the Impish Ember set for Puck, who makes her, uh, or its debut into the workshop. This set was created by Dry Socket and Chemical Aaliyah and comes with four items including a headpiece, tail, wings, and loading screen. This is pretty. As mentioned, Puck finally became available to create items for and the artists have not disappointed. The colors on this set are vibrant and I especially like the orb on the tail that apparently has had a fire effect added. Fourth is another Puck set named the Mischievous Dragon set created by Ani Lulz and Zafk. Similar to the other Puck set, this comes with four items including a headpiece, wings, tail, and loading screen. From what we understand, this set is in the files for the game already, but we're going to feature it anyway since it was officially the first set ever for Puck. This is another interesting take on Puck, and I think the wings look very fitting. Last but not least is the Arcane Infusion set for Tiny, created by Zipfinator and Slimeface. This comes with two items, including the set itself and a loading screen. So from what I understand, Tiny has not had his model broken up, meaning you can't change anything but his textures and spell effects. This is why there aren't any full sets for Tiny. In fact, the only item I can remember is the ice version. Either way, this is by far the best texturing work we've seen and we're really looking forward to seeing it in game. It has a nice blend of nature to go along with arcane energy, which is even evident upon using Avalanche. 